Your birthday's coming up soon, which means it's party time. You've been told to invite about 10 of your friends. Okay, but why not invite 11 or even 12? There's almost no difference, right? You'd be close to 10 after all. Great thinking. Actually, you've just put into practice something extremely useful called rounding. Let's get straight to the definition. Rounding is a way to change a number to a similar number, as we've just done. The idea is that after rounding, you're still close to the original number. 12 is still quite close to 10. And it's much more fun when 12 of your friends come to the birthday party, right? Rounding uses place values, like the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, etc. Today you'll practice something really useful. How to round to the tens place. 0, 10, 20, 30. Here's what a number line increasing by tens looks like. Okay. Let's check out how this rounding works. Let's say you have 17 colored pencils. Think about it. Is 17 closer to 10 or to 20? Well, to 20. It's only three pencils away from the 20 pencil set. But back to the number line. The number 17 is between 10 and 20. Here it is. It's closer to 20 than it is to 10. So you can just round to 20 now. Moving on. Imagine there are 28 children in your class. Now what about the number 28? Is it closer to 20 or to 30? Let's try rounding it and looking at the place values of the number. You can break the number 28 into two tens and eight ones. You can see that you only need two more ones in order to make another 10. Then we would have three tens total or 30. That is really close which means that the number 28 can be rounded to 30. So in other words, you could say that there are about 30 children in your class. 30 is a nice even number that's easy to visualize and work with. So far you've rounded 17 to 20 and 28 to 30. In both of these examples, you go to the next highest 10. This is called rounding up. Let's look at the number 42, for example. Now try to imagine what this looks like. That's right, there are four tens and two ones. In order to make it five tens or fifty, you would need another eight ones, and that's a lot. But if you took the two ones away, only the four tens would remain. This doesn't change the number as much. So 42 can be rounded down to 40. You would round down when the number is closer to the smaller value. But what if the number has a five in it? This is a little trickier. 75 is 7 tens and 5 ones. In order to change it to 70, you would have to take away 5 ones. Or you could also add 5 ones to make it 80. Looking on a number line, 75 is exactly in the middle of 70 and 80. So what do you think we should do? Round up or round down? Thankfully, there is a rule. The rule when a number is exactly in the middle is to always round up. This means that 75 would round to 80. A quick way to know whether to round up or down is to just look at the number in the ones place. If there's a 1, a 2, a 3, or a 4 in the ones place, then round down to the previous 10. What you need to remember here is that the tens place does not change when the number is rounded down. So, what about the number 23? 23 has a 3 in the ones place, and this means that we should round down to 20. Remember, the tens place, the 2, does not change. If the ones place has a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, round up to the next 10. This means the tens place increases by one. Imagine you have 57 pieces of candy. Around how many do you have? Well, the number 57 has a seven in the ones place. This means that you should round up. There's a five in the tens place. Well, we increase that by one and the five changes into a six. 57 would then round up to 60. And you could say that you have about 60 pieces of candy. That's a much better number. Here's an example to practice with. Round 279 to the nearest 10. This number is a little different than the other numbers you were working with before. 
There are hundreds this time. But that's okay, don't worry. Just like the previous numbers, look at the number in the ones place and ignore the other numbers for now. There are nine ones. This means that you should round up. Now, look at the tens place at the seven and add one more to make it eight. When the number 279 is rounded up, you get the answer of 280. You're doing great. Just one more problem to practice rounding. The number this time, 65. 65 is one of the tricky numbers to round to the nearest 10 since there is a 5 in the ones place. But remember, the rule for a 5 in the ones place is to round up. So go ahead and add 1 to the tens place, to the 6, and change it to a 7. This means that the answer is 70. Fantastic work! Now let's sum this all up. Rounding to the nearest 10 means to change the number to the closest tens value. If the number in the ones place is 4 or below, round down and keep the tens value the same. If the number in the ones place is 5 or more, round up and go to the next 10. Now you know how to round. See you next time!